Time for the two jump races. Nick's in. And we've got two long distance chases. First one of which is over three miles and five furlongs. And at the top we've got Classic Chance for Alex. Cherry Advent and Sharbiz. Oh, Darren Thompson. Tunisia Matt Cooper. Corbin's Raw Ground Clutterbook. In Chomp Soul for David Robertson. Corfada Romero and Takipi Complaining for Derek Hinton. Dedham Gale for John Morgan. Opium Ship Leon Van Rensburg. Finding Alice and Gale on the River. For Marta Lidham, Amanda Matt Cooper, Temple Princess for Graham Clutterbuck, and Hot Springs Winds for Vinnie Gerard. They're away and racing. The two mouthfuls again there. Dedham Gale is the first one to show. So we've got two gales. One's a windy gale, one's a girly gale. So it's Dedham Gale, the windy gale in the lead from Charbez, I presume that's how you say that. As Darren Thompson has a lot of foreign sounding name Spanish I think most of them are so that probably wouldn't be how you say that Sharb is I'm sure it's not Charbs but anyway it's probably what Doug would have called it if Doug would have still been commentating we ought to get Doug back and miss Doug and it's Dedham Gale who's in the lead by about six lengths to Corbin's Rule in second then Advent and Charb is with Gale on the river after that one and, and there's a gap to the next Bunch who are headed by a classic chance. They've got 20 fences to take, and this is the first of them. Took a while to get to it, and they're all safely over it. And already quite well strung out with this John Morgan front runner, Dedham Gale. It's got a good five length lead. The camera having to pan out to get the field in shot. And Dedham Gale is clear of Corbin's Raw in Advent on the inside of Gale on the river. Charbez is after that one, and then a gap back to Onction Soul. The classic chance, an opium ship, and finding Alice as a league stalwart. Either wins big races or falls over, finding Alice. So we'll see what she's up to today as they get over the second. Looks they all get over okay. That's Dedham Girl. Give you a bit of an idea where your jumpers are as they get over the Third, if Finding Alice does jump around, because two seasons ago she was second in the Cheltenham Gold Cup, and she also won the. I think she won the. I think she won the Whitbread. Certainly won one of those big races. Anyway, they get to the fourth. Looks they're all over okay. And Dedham Gale is clear. A good five or six lengths. To Advent, who's moved into second on the outside of Corbin's Raw, then Charbez is after that one. Gale on the River is next, and then Opium Ship and Old Shop Soul with Corfire Romero and Temple Princess. Then the only grey in the field, Finding Alice. After that, Takipi complaining as they get to the sixth. And there's a fall away, it's Takipi complaining that's gone. So Derek Hinton's has departed. At the sixth, as they make their way towards the seventh, Dedham Gale is clearing the lead. The one who's struggling out the back is Classic Chance. That one's dropped right out the back. I've got a feeling there might be something amiss with that one. I'm probably going to pull up shortly, I think, because he's getting further and further behind as they take this next dip, which is the seventh. Gale on the river jumped it a bit slowly. The rest of them all got over it okay. And it's Dedham Gale who's clearing the lead. Advent and Corbin's Raw together. Then Charbez and Gale on the river with Opium Ship just behind them. Let's see. Mm, get over number eight, including the out of shot back marker classic chance, I would guess. As they take number nine. Getting all over that OK. And with Dedham Gale clear in front. This is with the midway point in the jumping. The tenth of the twenty. And the leader really took a gamble with that one. He stood off it and only just Managed to get to the other side, okay. They pass the big screen then. They'll come past the winning post now. They've got a complete circuit of the track to go. Ten more fences to take, and it's Dedham Gale who's in the lead, despite that mistake, but the lead's down to just a length now. Advent is in second. Charbez has moved through into third. Gale on the river is four, then Corbin's Raw is five. After that one is Opium Ship, then All Short Soul and Corfada Romero, then Temple Princess. Heads the next little group of three with Fine and Ice and uh, also in there is, uh, that one was in there already, I think Hot Springs wins 
is behind them and then Tunisia and Amanda together and classic chances still going but some way adrift so it's Denham Gale and leads by about a length into fence number 11 Oops, they're all over okay again Denham Gale jumps to a two led lead there Advent is second there's a little clump of them together after that one it's headed by Charbez, Corbin's Raw Gun on the River Opium Ship and All Shot Soul. There's a gap to the next three called Fire Romero, Temple Princess, and Finding Alice. And then a gap to the next three Tunisia, Hot Springs, Winds, and Amanda. And then Classic Chance is somewhere adrift and still going. Oh, you're going to see him. There's the loose horse. So goodness knows how far behind Classic Chance is, but he's persevering. As they get to number 12 safely over number 12. Just lost the one so far then. Attack if he complaining. As they get into this ditch. And they'll chuck that one nicely. With Dedham Girl. Three lengths of a good guy on the river is now poked ahead through into second. Then Advent and Charbez and Corbin's Raw and Opium Ship and All Short Soul. These are a good four lengths clear of the chasing pack and the leader made another mistake there at right into the top of that and surrendered the lead to Charbez. So Charbez has gone on then. Dedham go trying to regain his equilibrium on the inside in second. Corbin's roar between the two of them as they take number 15. That time Dedham Gale jumped it really well and has gone back into the lead. Charbez is second. Gale on the river is in third. Then on the outside comes Opium Ship. Corbin's roar still there. Finding Alice is absolutely eating up the ground on the outside. She might be on a going day today as they now begin to swing towards home and it's Dedham Gale from Charbez finding Alice has come through into third All Shot Soul is next then Gale on the river is now starting to tread water a bit the other one who's making some great ground around the outside is Tunisia but finding Alice has come through to challenge All Shot Soul as Charbez and Dedham Gale just start to struggle a little bit now finding Alice might have hit the wall they get over the fourth last and it's on shot. Soul who's in the lead. Classic chance has finally given up the ghost at the back. Charbez looks the big danger now in second. Then comes Dedham Gale back in third. Then there's a line of about seven of them in third. Over the third last they go. And Charbez comes through to challenge for the lead. It's Charbez from on shot. Soul. Then comes Dedham Gale. Hot Spring wins his next. Then comes Advent after that. And Corbin's Raw. This is the second last. And Charbez is over in the lead and clear. From on shot. Soul in second. Dedham Gale is now one paced in third. The one that's running on his opium ship but it's Charbez who comes to the last with a clear lead Charbez comes into it in the lead but a much better jump by Opium Ship and Opium Ship sweeps into the lead and it's Opium Ship who's going to take it for Leon Van Rensburg up towards line Opium Ship takes it dead and go run on again to be second then Charbez third hot spring wins from nowhere was fourth and all the way back to Colfada Romero so a race that changed complexion a couple of times really but Opium Ship ran out the easy winner in the end from Dedham Girl, who led most of the way, made a couple of bad mistakes. So, Opium Ship, the winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Dedham Girl, second for John Morgan. Charbez for Darren Thompson was third. Hot Spring wins for Vinnie Gerard, ran on nicely in fourth. And Enchant Soul for David Robertson was fifth.